Hey guys, it's Tame, and here I am with... Benjamin, aka Rocky. And in this video, uh, first of all, welcome to another Toontown video. In this video, we are going to be talking about organic gags and which ones... Uh, which gag tracks are the best tracks to plant and which ones are the worst tracks to plant. Um, now, as you can see by the title, I'm calling this a debate. Um, and as you can see by the video length, this is not going to be a very long video. Because honestly, it's not too much a debate. It's not too much of a debate. Like, there's ones that are obviously a lot better than others. But we're just going to be comparing them. Um, and at the same time, we're going to be doing a dollar mint. Yep. Did my message go through? Because DTR is lagging a little bit. No, I did not see your message go through. In game, in game, I said, "Hey, you're stealing my mint." Reported. Oh God, let's let's not get started with that. Uh, let's get right into the video, I guess. Oh my God. So anyway, um, let's just start from the top down in terms of gag tracks. So let's start with tune up. Um, I think basically everyone has the same idea of tune up. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I think. Planting tune up is one of the worst decisions that you can make. To be honest, I think it's the worst, if not the second worst, uh, gag track that you can plant. Just because, like, in my opinion, like, if you play the game, I've said this in other videos too, like, if you play the game properly and if you know good strategy and you know what you're doing, you really shouldn't ever have to use tune up, to be honest. Um,. Because honestly, like, if you do everything right, this this game, the battling system is so easy that literally, like, you should be able to kill a whole round of cogs, provided that you have the right gags, like, in and any situation. Even in the case where you're a complete utter noob, or your team are noobs, or every gag misses, even for, like, say you're all 100 left, even for level 11 minglers with a paradigm shift, like, Okay, you're all down 96 left. Tune up is so overpowered. Maybe like a juggling ball. Well, sure, that only does like, I don't know, 40 each. But still, that recovers half of what you just lost within one gag. It's already overpowered. So why would you need or even want to make it any stronger? Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Like, there, it doesn't really need the extra power and it doesn't really do much in the first place because, first of all, you, you shouldn't have to use tune up that much. And also, like, it already does enough. So. That's basically all we have to say about that. So let's move down to Trap. Now, as you can see, Trap is the one that I have planted, and the reason why I like it so much is because, as you can see, a railroad normally does 195, but if you plant it, it adds 19, and it does 214. And if you know how much health a cog has, well, the max health that a cog can have is 200. So Basically, with a railroad, especially if you have it planted and, like, you're able to get one per day, you basically have, like, a full cog nuke, like, a row of cogs that you can just destroy no matter what level they are, unless they're version 2.0s, which is a different story, but still, you can basically nuke an entire row of cogs with one gag and Hypno, I guess. But yeah, so that's... Honestly, I prefer... I, I think Trap is either the best or the second best um, organic gag to plant just because of that nuke ability and it's better than the Toontanic because that only gets up to 198 that can't kill level 12s so that's my take on it well I will I will have to disagree about that being the best or the second best I think it probably the third or the fourth best but in terms of what you said yeah that's really great uh, but also I believe there's something with the trap door like maybe you can kill like I think it's level 7 cogs with your yeah. trap door, or when I think normally you couldn't. Yeah, so you, like yeah, you can do that, it's just it's pretty arbitrary because honestly, like, you're probably either going to be sounding or using different gags to kill level 7. Like, I've personally found very few situations where that actually works, and that's why I only carry two trap doors, because honestly, I almost never use them. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, would, I would say, yeah, it is really useful. But it's definitely, in, in my opinion, in my opinion, not the, like the first or the second. But yeah, let's move on to uh, lore, I guess. So yeah, let's move down to lure. Now, lure is one of the more interesting ones because a lot of people. There's kind of two different kinds of people when it comes to this. There's a lot of people that say like, "Oh, lure is fine where it's at. Like you shouldn't have to waste like your organic trees on it because like it works most of the time." And then there's the people who are like, "Oh." Well, you can get extra accuracy out of it if you plant it, because that that's how it works. Um, 
like there's nothing that there's nothing else that you can really benefit from um, in terms of like a lure gag when you plant it. So obviously the game uh, like they chose to make it an accuracy buff instead of like a damage buff because it does no damage. So I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of an interesting one because it's unique compared to all the other gag tracks um, just because it's based on that accuracy. And as a result of this, I got the hypno by the way. All right, so I'll get this. And as a, as a result of this, it, it just becomes kind of a like a sticky subject, um, cause like you could you could think whatever you want, like hey, you might want the extra accuracy, but you really don't need it exactly. Like personally, I think I I wouldn't ever plant lure just because I don't think it's necessary. I think lure is just as accurate already, um, and there's other gag tracks that would you would benefit more from planting. I don't know. What do you think about it, Rocky? I think it's it's getting the presentation every day is nice, especially if you use them a lot. Which I tend, like when I play because I really don't play too much anymore uh, with a max lore tune. But it's I like having presentation a lot, but also the accuracy is good. But it's yeah, like you said, it's really not needed, and I would rank it same as trap in my opinion. Like it's either the third, fourth, maybe even the fifth most useful. Um, it's not like up there, definitely. Yeah, I know what you mean. So I, I don't know. You can really just think what you want. It can, it can honest. I'd say lure is probably the most questionable of all of them, just because, um, it's it's just different. Like it's it's a interesting, um, it's an interesting use of like an organic buff, I guess. I, I don't even know how to say it. But anyway, so let's move on. I believe the next one down is sound. Now, personally, I think that sound is not a great gag to plant. But to be honest, if you had like a bunch of friends who also planted sound, then it could be really, it actually could be really powerful. Um, in certain situations, of course, like I, I don't know the exact damage amounts um, for all the situations which this could cover. Fog, fog, fog. Are we gonna take the hits? Oh, I see. Cool. Um, it's kind of funny that we're talking about sound and you use that. But anyway. Yeah. Um, like, on the surface, if you plant sound, like, you can't really get any immediate buffs just because, like, you can't kill any higher level cogs with the damage buff. But if you were to use it together, like, for example, if you had, if you and a friend both had sound planted, um, and you both used two fogs, you could kill a row of nines just because, or no, you could kill a row of tens because you would get 110 damage plus 22. So, yeah, you could kill a row of tens with just two foghorns. And honestly, like, I kind of thought about it this way. Like, if everyone in Toontown had sound planted, then it would actually be really, really useful. And what the fuck? I just fell right through it. Huh. But yeah, what, what's your take on it? Oh, well, yeah. Going off of what you just said, you need everyone or lots of people in order to make it happen. And we know this community is not very uh, cooperative in, uh, in those kind of respects. So it is like not exactly rare, but it's uncommon to find more than like one or two people in a group that have it. But like, I would only organize it. Like, if you have a set of friends, like Tommy was saying, like, okay, you guys always do runs together. You never do runs with randoms. So like, organize it as a team. Okay, guys, let's all choose this. If not, it's kind of kind of useless, and you're kind of having to expect others to have it, which is really bad. Yeah, and honestly, like. In, ter in terms of that, you can't expect like an entire society of people to choose to plant the same gag track. Like it just, I don't know, like that that would just be too hard. That's like trying to change like the culture of something. It's, why do I keep going through these gears? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, can I clip out? Hold on. Okay, I just got back on. I'm sorry, I'm just having a lot of glitches with standing on these gears. But anyway, yeah, like, in terms of sound, it would be great if everyone in Toontown had it, but there's really no way that you can do that, so you, it's kind of just written off at that point, and personally, like, knowing that, it's really not the best choice to have, um, so I personally wouldn't go for it, um, but anyway, you want to move on? Yeah, I was going to throw now. All right, Lore, so... Lore, by the way, Lore. Lore? Wow, you're really happy with these level 7s. <laughs> Throw happy. But anyway, um, so let's talk about throw. Yeah, speaking of throw. Yeah, speaking of throw. Oh, and he has a planet. So anyway, let's talk about throw. Um, 
Now, just to say this, throw is considered by many to be the best gag track to plant. Um, most, I, I'd honestly say most people in Toontown have it planted, uh, or at least the majority, like, of all the tracks that you can plant, I'd say the majority of people in the game have throw planted, just because it's, it's just pretty versatile, and you can do a lot of things with it. Um, for example, um, if you have... Shit, I'm, I'm having a blank. A level 11? A level 11. Well, yeah, that, that's one of the big ones. If you have a level 11 that's lured, you can use an organic cake on it and kill it. Um, that's one of the big ones. Um, another one is if you have... Honestly, getting a free wedding cake every day is just great, just because, like, you can spam the shit out of that, and you can't take out a row of 12s, like, alone, but you're probably gonna have someone who has another throw gag, obviously, and they can use it too, so... Honestly, it's just, like... It, it's it's good to have like you'd use it in basically any situation and it just makes here, here life here's easier. a good example of doing it you can pass yeah watch this just do this just so do normally, this by myself. if i used a cake on an 11 it wouldn't die but since that does 165 it'll kill it so it's it's just it's just a pretty helpful gag track especially like if you're a high level tune so anyway uh do you have anything to say on that no i mean i would personally just Kind of throw because you can you know i'm the type of per like person this is me just personally like if there's a hard decision be between things but throws kind of like the staple oh this is definitely going to be good i don't have to like really make a decision on this like i think if i gave it thought i would choose another but choosing throw is just so easy to do and you use throw so much anyway like most people do like apart from using sound if you don't sound through things you normally use lore and throw on cogs so, that being said, you use that gag track a lot anyway, and why not just make it better by planting it? So, yeah, it's like, I would rank it up maybe the second or the first uh, best one to plant. Yeah, easily. I mean, honestly, it's just like, it's it's definitely the safest choice to pick. Like, for sure. Yeah, no, yeah, I couldn't find the word for it. Yeah, because I, like, I would just like not distress over picking what gag I plant, for God's sake. So, I'm like... You know, I'll just do throw and keep it simple, and that usually works out the best for me. Yeah, I know what you mean. So anyway, um, let's move on to the second to last one, Squirt. Now, personally, I think Squirt is one of the worst ones to plant, because honestly, like, throw has a lot of advantages, because you can, you know, you can kill um, a level 9 unlured with a cake, you can kill a level 11, which is lured with no problem with an organic throw gag, and you have a bunch of wedding cakes, which are really powerful. Now, Squirt is basically like, if you plant it, it's basically like the poor man's version of planted throw, because, like, what you can do is, um, the only, like, damage boost that you really get is you can have a cloud kill level 10 that's lured instead of just killing level 9, which, and that's basically it, because, like, if you take a geyser and use it on a row of 11s that are lured, like, that'll kill them, and if you take a planted geyser, that's not gonna kill level 12s, like, it's still gonna kill 11s. It just doesn't really, it doesn't really work as well, and, like, honestly, there's no reason why you should plant it if you can just plant throw. You know? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's one of the worst, but yeah, it is, like, a poor man's version, but it could be sometimes with a 10, and you have to also remember, just like the wedding, you do get a, you know, the, the geyser um, pretty much every day, which is really nice for a row of 11s. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I'd just rank it, I'd probably rank it third or around that, not just the worst, but that's just my view. I gotcha. So anyway, let's move on to the very last one, which is drop. Personally, I think drop is probably one of the worst ones that you can plan, just because, like, the only real benefit is having a free Toon Tannic whenever you need it. And honestly... Yeah, that, that is, like, one of the worst aside from Toon Up, I'd say. Like, a lot of people may say I'm biased just because... And honestly, it does sort of make sense for me to kind of go back on what I was saying about Trap, because, like, with Trap, you have to use a lure gag and which is a low accuracy thing and then you have to use trap which is obviously a high accuracy thing um whereas when you use tunic you have to use like you would probably use sound and then use the tunic which would kill all the cogs so honestly 
Let, let me go back on what I said, because trap and drop, now that I think of it, are pretty equal in that regard. Um, just because you could just use an elephant and a Toontanic, like a high accuracy gag and a low accuracy gag, and it would do it would kill everyone. And you could also use like a railroad and a low accuracy lure gag. So honestly, like, do you agree with me on that? Where you can kind of put them on the same plane in terms of that? I uh, yeah, I, I suppose so because I'm gonna do the Toontanic is nice, but it's not like the boost can really kill a row of twelves. But yeah, it's generally on the same. I know what you mean. Basis. Yeah, so I, I don't know, that that's why I think about that. Now let me, so anyway, that that's all the gag tracks, obviously, like there's no other gag tracks. So what I want to do is I want to rank all of them, in my opinion, and then I'll let you rank all of them, Rocky, and we'll just kind of compare what we say. Nope. So looking at the gag tracks, if I had to compare them, I would say number one is throw, number two is trap, Number three is drop. Number four is lure. Number five is sound. Number six is squirt. And number seven is tune up. So throw, trap, drop, uh, lure, sound, squirt, and tune up. What do you think? All right, so we're going from terms to best to worst, right? Yes. All right, so best I'd have to say is throw. After that, I would say it's squirt. After that, I would say I would say it's sound, and then it's slur, then it's trap, then it's drop. Oh, and then it's tune up. Yeah. So you That's said that. throw, squirt, sound, lure, trap, drop, tune up. Yes. I see what you mean. So I'll, I'll put the list on the screen just so you can kind of compare and contrast. But basically, um, why, why do you have squirt so high up? Like, I understand it's kind of, it's not too far off the throw, but like, it's kind of interesting to think about it just because like no one, I, you barely ever see people who plant squirt and it's probably just because so many people plant throw, you know? Yeah, but I yeah, mean, it, if it's you only have good. three birthdays, if you have three birthdays, like say for example, I mean... I get, like, soloing something, it'd be ideal to have organic throw, but let's say you couldn't do that. If you're, you only have three birthdays, but you still have a couple level ten, level tens, like, you're kind of screwed and you gotta take a couple hits unless you have an organic squirt, in which you have, like, three whole clouds at your disposal for three extra dogs, which is pretty nice. And I think it's better than uh, the lore, because, you know, that has an okay accuracy as is, uh, that's debatable. Um... And sound, you gotta rely on other people for it. And trap, it's nice, but like I'm not a huge trap fan myself. And it's obvious with the drop and the tune up. Yeah, I know what you mean. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna close off the video right here because we basically talked about everything. Uh, what I encourage you guys to do in the comment section is put a list of your own um, from one to seven, ranking the gag tracks that you think are the best to the worst. Um, in terms of like their organic potential um, and yeah just just put them in the comment section and we can kind of just see where ev what everyone thinks about this um, if you agree with our opinions great if you don't agree like definitely put your own opinions in the comment section and we can all take a look we can all compare um, like it says in the video the title of this video like this is a debate this isn't supposed to have a right answer this is just interpretable and anyone can think what they want yep so, any last words, Rocky? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, sounds good. You said it pretty good. And I, I know I said in the beginning of this video that this is going to be a short video. Well, it ended up being a little bit longer, but it's fine. It's not like a 30-minute video like some of the rants that we've made. But anyway, yeah. Um, if you don't have anything left to say, then I'm just going to go ahead and say, my name is Tame, this is Rocky, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.